Watford City high schoolers are buzzing about their new high school. The students are extremely excited because we're starting to talk about uh, the move and, and what, uh, um, what's going to take place. However, they'll have to wait a little longer than expected to start roaming the halls. The building was originally scheduled to open at the end of January, but it's been pushed back to mid-February. The, the pushback hasn't been uh, that dramatic in my mind anyway. The school has already started to make some changes to prepare students for the switch. Uh, schedule challenges, I think, are, are, are the biggest part. The building's 165,000 square feet, so it's a, a lot larger than the building we're in presently. This involves adding an extra minute to each passing period so students can get used to having time to get where they need to go. Teachers are also preparing for the move by picking out what needs to be taken with them and what gets left behind. Pulling one thing out at a time, deciding if it goes or if it goes to the trash. For some teachers, that's a little easier said than done. I just moved classrooms about three years ago into this classroom here, so I, I got rid of a lot of the old stuff then, so I don't have as much old stuff to get rid of now. Um, other teachers, like Ms. Plivka, is going to have a lot of stuff to go through as she took over for a 30-year teacher and still has that stuff to go through also. An open house will be held for community members and parents alike the day before the switch is made. For NBC North Dakota News, I'm Nick Amatangelo.